Okay, did you guys hear about the new Mercari update? I woke up this morning, found out I had, I opened up the app to send out offers and it was like, oh, you need to update the app. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then there are new terms of service. There are new seller fees. There's new information. If you're new here, my name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. Um, I do three videos a week normally. Every once in a while, I'll pop in different videos. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a video about this because I posted on Instagram. Lots of people have already been asking me questions. So I'm just gonna kind of go through what I see in the app. Just to let you guys know, these are just my opinions. This is how I'm interpreting Mercari's new fees. I've started to, since I already um, edited this video, I'm starting to see different things that are being said on Facebook groups, on Instagram. Different people are interpreting it in different ways. So again, this is not like, I'm gonna believe this because Heather said it. Like, this is how I'm interpreting it. This is what I believe is true based on what I have read. If you know of something else or if you've heard something else, please let us know down in the comments. I don't wanna give you guys like fake news <laughs> or false information. So I'm just putting that out there so nobody like comes after me if something I say is maybe not 100% right. How I'm understanding it, if you understand it differently, put it down below in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't yet for reseller content and let's just get into it. So terms of service, it is effective today, March 27th. So it goes through all of the things about the terms of service, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's nothing that we need to worry about or nothing different. Um, the fees is the biggest thing. So now they are saying, well, they're talking about how you never had to pay to list on Mercari, which you know on eBay, if you don't have a store, you do have to pay like 25 cents a listing. Or if you go over your limit for your store, you have to pay 25 cents per listing. So you don't have to worry about that on Mercari, but it's always been like that. Um, usually you get charged when an item sells. But what's been different is effective today at 8.30 Eastern time, the selling fee for new listings will be at 0%. So anything you listed before today on March 27th, you're still going to get charged that 10% fee that they always charge. But after today, you are getting charged nothing, which is kind of cool. Like, I think that's like, okay, but I don't make a ton of sales on Mercari, but it was always excited when I did because I'm like, okay, Poshmark charges you 20% in seller fees and Mercari was 10. So I was like, I'm gonna make more profit off of it. So that was exciting. So yeah, if it was before, you can. I think there might be a way where you can go in though and maybe edit or do something with your listings so that they are all with this new policy, but I'm not for sure on that. I'll look and see if I can find anything on the app. Um, and they talk about their transaction and payment fees. So what's gonna be happening now is when you transfer out your money over to your bank account, you're gonna get charged a flat fee of $2, which in my opinion is not that bad. Um, so this talks about also, they're gonna be charging buyer's payments. So that's what's gonna be interesting because that's gonna negatively affect our buyers? Are we gonna have to list lower? Are we gonna have to um, offer free shipping? Like, do we have to do anything else because now the buyers have to pay? So what's happening now for listings created before March 27th, there's a payment processing fee of 2.9% plus a 50 cent um, per sale is charged on the seller. Okay, so that's what was happening before. Um, based on the completed sale plus the shipping price, unless it's been updated after March 27th. The payment processing fee is only charged on completed transactions, not to declined or expired offers. So we have that. And then there is the listings created after 8.30 a.m. Eastern on March 27th, a payment processing fee of 50 cents plus 2.9% of the transaction price, which includes the item price, shipping, service fee, and sale tax will be charged to the buyer. And I was like, that's interesting. Um, this fee may not be refunded for returned or canceled orders. So the buyer is going to have to pay 2.9% of the cost plus 50 cents. I don't know how that's going to go out. Then there is a $2 fee for each completed direct payment to your bank account. And then a $3 fee for your instant pay. So if you don't do instant pay, you get your money in two or three days, which I'm totally okay with that. So we will be paying as sellers two or three dollars and that's it. So what do you guys think about that? I don't know. Um, kind of interesting. So shipping and delivery fees. I don't know if that's really any different. I use Pirate Ship for Macari because some of their 
pricing for shipping was just too high in my liking for my liking. Um, maybe it's changed. I am going to be doing my listings on Mercari this afternoon. So if I find anything different, I'll put it down below in the comments after I do that. It does say about new shipping rates for Mercari prepaid labels are effective January 18th, 2024. So I think I've already seen those. It did help a little bit because now on USPS, um, anything a pound or a pound to 12 ounces is only $6.99. And that's actually not that bad. Um, it's just when it gets to things over a pound because things for it jumps up from $6.99 to three pounds is $18.45. For USPS, you could go cheaper with FedEx or US, UPS ground, but that's still $13 or $14. So anything over a pound, I would still ship on my own because I can use priority flat rate or USPS ground advantage on pirate ship. So I don't think m much new there for the shipping. It does talk about cancellation fees. So that's saying if you can't fulfill an order, like if you don't have the item, it does say if a seller has frequent cancellations, Mercari may charge a cancellation fee of 5% of the item price, maximum of $25, to cover the cost of any transaction fees, operational and or shipping label costs we incur. I don't know if I've ever received that before, that kind of warning. So I don't know if that is something that is new. Let me know what you guys think. You will receive warnings if you reach this limit before a fee is charged. It will be subtracted for your balance. So... That could be something new. Um, they also have something weird about legal fees, $25 an hour. I don't think we should really have to worry about that. Um, they have an authentic authentication fees. I also heard somebody say there are some changes with the return eligibility. Um, on Poshmark, you can't return for fit. It has to be flaws, which, you know, sometimes people lie. eBay, you can. It depends on what you decide to accept with your policies. So Mercari does say in this new article, again, I don't know if this is brand new, if a return request is made from 72 hours within delivery, the item can be returned. Um, you can pick any kind of return reason. I changed my mind, item doesn't fit, it smells, it's not as described, it doesn't work as described, it was damaged, I didn't receive everything, I received the, on, the wrong item, and authenticity concerns. So it sounds like basically people can return for anything on Mercari, is that normally the case? I don't know. Again, I don't make that many sales in there. I'm just letting you know what it's saying in this new update that I am seeing on my phone. But basically the biggest thing is no seller fees. So I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments. Do you sell on Mercari? If you do, what do you think about this? Do you think this will help or hurt us as sellers? What do you think buyers are going to think of this? Um, I think it's going to affect them for sure. Also, if you have any tips, if you make a lot of sales in Mercari, put that down below too, because honestly, I have trouble. Sometimes I think every night maybe I should go in and be dropping prices or promoting. You can only do, what's really annoying about Mercari is, first of all, you can only do 10 things a day, like how you send offers to likers, like you can push promote to likers. And then also once you send one price, the next time you send one out after like three days, you have to send out a lower one. I don't like that either. So there are some things I wish Mercari would change, but... Anyway, that's it. That's my short little update video I have for you guys. Again, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments down below. And I'll see you guys for the next video.